Let's face it, charging an EV still feels like a chore. You wait 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, and that's if the charger even works. And battery replacement? Don't even ask. It can cost more than your car's worth. For many folks over 65, switching to electric still feels like a gamble, not a solution. But what if Tesla gave you real choice? What if you could finally pick a car based on what you care about? not just what they sell. Today, Elon Musk just confirmed that the upcoming Tesla Model 2 will feature three completely different battery options, each made for a different kind of driver, and more importantly, different kinds of budget. If you've got, if you've got range, if you've got rapid recharge, um, and, um, and all, all those can be achieved, and, and a, a high calendar and high cycle life. In this video, we'll break down exactly how these new batteries work, how far they'll take you, and how much they'll cost. And trust me, one of them might be perfect for your daily life. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, straight-talking EV news built for real drivers. Let's dive in. What battery chemistry will power Tesla's most affordable EV yet? Tesla isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. Instead, the company is betting on a diversified battery strategy for the upcoming Model 2. One that balances cost, range, and manufacturing scale by deploying three distinct battery chemistries. Each comes with clear trade-offs, and Tesla is positioning them to serve different customer segments. Here's what that means for real-world drivers. The most accessible option is LFP, or lithium iron phosphate. It's already powering Tesla's most affordable cars in China, the Model 3 and Model Y, and is known for its exceptional cycle life with some cells tested for over 2,000 to 3,000 full charge-discharge cycles, translating to over 300,000 miles of use before degradation becomes an issue. It's also far safer than traditional lithium-ion, as it doesn't overheat or catch fire easily due to its strong thermal and chemical stability. But this stability comes at a cost. Lower energy density, around 160 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to over 250 watt-hours per kilogram for NMC cells. As a result, vehicles using LFP typically have shorter range and slower acceleration. For the Model 2, Tesla is expected to pair LFP with its $15,990 base model, offering around 250 to 300 miles of real-world range, which covers daily commutes and most regional trips with ease. LFP also shines in warm climates, and by building these packs at Giga Shanghai and Giga Mexico, Tesla can scale quickly while keeping costs low. But for drivers who want faster charging and less downtime, Tesla is looking ahead to aluminum ion technology. Still in early stage development, reportedly with help from Australian firm Graphene Manufacturing Group, aluminum ion cells promise five times faster charging than lithium ion. Lab results suggest a full charge in under 10 minutes, and specific energy up to 150 to 160 watt-hours per kilogram, comparable to LFP, but with a much lighter weight profile. Aluminum is 1.5 times less dense than lithium. That means lighter cars, better efficiency, and quicker handling. These cells also generate far less heat during operation, reducing the need for bulky cooling systems. However, the tech is still experimental. While GMG and other developers have shown promising results in button cells and prototypes, mass production is at least 12 to 24 months away, and energy retention over long cycles remains under testing. That said, Tesla may reserve aluminum ion for urban-focused trims of Model 2, optimized for short-range, high-frequency trips, where speed of charge matters more than range. This aligns with Musk's vision of a sub-20 keV that charges faster than your phone. And then, there's the holy grail of EV technology, solid-state batteries. Unlike conventional lithium-ion, which uses a liquid electrolyte, solid-state cells rely on ceramic or polymer-based solid electrolytes, eliminating the risk of leakage or fire. They offer up to twice the energy density, with projections of 400 to 500 watt-hours per kilogram, enabling 500-plus miles of range per charge. 
Toyota and QuantumScape have both demonstrated solid-state prototypes that can retain 80% capacity after 800-plus cycles, and Tesla, while silent publicly, is believed to be investing heavily through partners like Redwood Materials. The catch? These batteries are extremely difficult and expensive to manufacture. Estimates suggest solid-state production costs are currently $200 to $300 per kilowatt hour, compared to approximately $100 per kilowatt hour for LFP. Scaling this down will take years, which is why analysts don't expect a solid-state Model 2 variant before late 2027 or beyond. But when it arrives, it will likely be aimed at North American markets, where longer driving distances and cold weather performance are priorities. It may carry a price tag of $24,000 to $26,000, but deliver best-in-class range, safety, and durability. Which Tesla Model 2 battery option do you think will fit you best? Comment 1 for LFP battery. Perfect for daily commutes and long-lasting use. Comment 2 for aluminum ion battery. Ideal for city driving with quick top-ups. Comment 3 if you're excited about the premium solid state. Tell us why you picked your choice in the comments below. We want to hear your thoughts. If you've watched this far and love straight-talking EV news like this, please hit that subscribe button. Our goal at Auto Gear Shift is to reach 4,999 subscribers before Tesla officially launches the Model 2, so join us now and stay ahead of the curve. What's Tesla's distribution and production strategy for these three battery options? Tesla's approach to distributing and producing the three new battery types for the Model 2 is as strategic as the batteries themselves. The company plans to leverage global manufacturing hubs that best fit each battery's cost structure and target market. For the LFP battery, which is the most cost-effective and easiest to scale, Tesla will prioritize production at Giga Mexico, a facility designed to produce up to 500,000 vehicles per year with low labor and logistics costs. This aligns perfectly with Tesla's goal to deliver the base Model 2 at around $15,990, with an estimated range of 250 to 300 miles. Additionally, the LFP packs are also produced in high volume at Giga Shanghai, where Tesla has already built more than 1 million LFP-powered Model 3-slash-Y vehicles for the Chinese and Southeast Asian markets. By focusing LFP production in Mexico and Asia, Tesla aims to capture price-sensitive regions such as Mexico, China, and emerging Southeast Asian countries, where EV adoption is accelerating but affordability remains key. Meanwhile, the aluminum-ion battery, known for its ultra-fast charging capabilities and lighter weight, is targeted primarily at the urban American market. Tesla intends to produce these cells closer to home, potentially at Giga Texas or future specialized R&D factories, where advanced manufacturing can support the complexity of this next-gen chemistry. Given that aluminum-ion batteries can charge from 0 to 80 percent in under 10 minutes, Tesla expects this variant to appeal to commuters in dense metropolitan areas like New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago, where charging time is a critical bottleneck. This battery pack is estimated to deliver over 300 miles of range, with a projected price range between $19,990 and $21,990. Production for this variant is expected to ramp up in late 2026, coinciding with growing demand for fast-charging lightweight EVs suited for city driving. Finally, the solid-state battery, Tesla's most advanced and energy-dense option, will serve premium customers and will be produced in smaller volumes initially. Solid-state production requires highly specialized manufacturing processes with extremely tight tolerances, which limits scale for now. Tesla's collaboration with Redwood Materials and other suppliers focuses on developing these factories to meet anticipated demand in North America and Europe where drivers value the extended range of 450 to 500 miles and enhanced safety features that come with solid electrolytes eliminating flammable liquids. The premium Model 2 equipped with solid-state cells is projected to cost between $24,000 and $26,000, 
and is expected to launch post-2027, once Tesla's manufacturing scale and cost efficiencies improve. Given the expected battery pack costs could be two to three times higher than LFP, Tesla will likely limit initial production to select markets and trim levels. And that's our deep dive into Tesla's three new battery options for the Model 2. Which battery type do you think fits your driving needs best? Are you more interested in the affordable LFP pack, the lightning-fast aluminum ion, or the long-range solid-state option? Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and ring the notification bell so you never miss our latest EV news and reviews. Thanks for being part of the ride and we'll see you again next time.